Well, you know, speaking of totally different worlds, <laughs> uh, two very different developer conferences invites went out. Yeah. You like that? That was pretty solid. Yeah. I feel like. Yeah. Six out uh, of ten. Google, <laughs> six <what? laughs> Google and Apple both oh. announced uh, their developer conference dates this summer. Yes. Google I.O. and Worldwide Developer Conference being Apple's. Um, we expect very different things at each of these. And I guess But also them, not really. Do we? <laughs> well, <laughs> it, we expect similar things in different styles. Yeah. We expect AI from both of them. Yeah. Well, maybe I'm getting ahead of myself, but Jaws tweeted it's going to be absolutely incredible. With both of those words With capitalized. A in absolutely and I in incredible capital. Uh, he thinks we're 12. So, <laughs> yeah, AI probably. We all got that. Yeah. But I think, yeah, we all kind of been waiting for this AI thing from Apple for forever. And it's this, the invite is the Siri colors. And like we've been hearing all these murmurings about you know, chat GPT and open AI, but also Gemini and Google. And like, what is Apple actually going to do with AI on the iPhone? And even lately, I've seen, um, I've, I've had just random mentions of AI from Apple where they're like, oh yeah, we've been an AI company the whole time. Like we've had the most advanced neural engine on our I Apple mean, Silicon chips for years now. And I'm like, yeah, you could, I guess you could just wrong. start saying that now. You're not wrong, but you haven't, yeah been saying it like that until just recently yeah. so it's kind of interesting i would argue it. they are wrong <laughs> it's it's mm, you could you could silo in an argument where they're like technically right but also my argument is that an incredible amount of things that people are branding as ai now were just machine learning that yeah. has been happening for a very long time. And it's funny because Apple had never, Apple never says AI. Right. And I made a whole video about how Apple never says AI. And then just recently they started being like, oh yeah, we, oh yeah, that's yeah. us, mm -hmm. AI, for no, sure. No, we said it, yeah, yeah. we've been doing yeah. it. Yeah, I know we say machine learning and neural engine and all that stuff, but like, yeah, this is, are they just gonna suddenly say AI a thousand times on stage this year at Dub Dub? I think they just wait a really long time to make sure that something is actually, like a new category is actually sticking before they associate themselves it's with it. It's every feature in the iPhone pretty much. It's like mm -hmm. all of the new features have been out already and then they just like waited till it was definitely popular, polished the hell out of yeah. it and popped it out. Yeah. yeah. Popular or like offered real real utility to their mm -hmm. customers because i think there are plenty of things that you could off you could argue were way way early in other phones but didn't really offer utility and then it took extra years for people to figure out oh this is actually good for people yeah, yeah. um and there's so many little examples i'm that. very very interested in what besides like better siri like a fully revamped like transformer based siri which i really hope exists mm -hmm. uh they're going to add because they're i really don't think they're going to do like AI wallpapers and all of that kind of stuff. Right. There's lots of those little things that others have done first that aren't necessarily that useful, like yeah. AI wallpapers. But then there are some things that I think are obvious wins, like, well, they've already done the keyboard. They've already done slightly yeah. better auto the keyboard. Yeah. by the way, I feel like has made the keyboard worse. In my I actually opinion. haven't really? noticed anything different. For me, honest. it feels like the auto the auto suggestions and autocorrect have just gotten way worse. If I'm not typing a word that's like a commonly used, like this morning, I was trying to type the word Atreides, and my <laughs> phone just like I mean was not. That's not the phone's phone. <laughs> it's it's say, from Dune. Say. It's from it's a Dune thing. Okay, I don't think any don't keyboard think. would naturally yeah get that. Well, one. no, 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 no. It's it's not like it was trying to. Like it would, it's not like I would finish the word correctly and then it would do it. Like if because it does the predictive yeah. what letters coming next. Yeah. yeah. So if it if it really struggles to know, like it's almost the the touch screen is useless, especially on my little yeah. tiny mini phone. Yeah. <laughs> true. True. At tradies, it's that is not a weird. I'm thing just saying that's just slightly above frittata for me. Oh, <laughs> oh just no. slightly above it. I just don't think I would know how to spell it. Yeah, but also like transformers are are trained on the commonality of how That's often true. words are used around other it's, words. It's in the most popular movie right now. Uh, right now. Andrew, <laughs> help me out. Andrew, I was going to make a joke. Who in here has seen Dune? <sighs> I still haven't seen either of them. No, I haven't seen it. No one besides Ellis has seen Dune. Oh, wow. Adam's seen Dune 1. Dune 1. Oh. oh was okay. Atreus in it? 
Atreides, <laughs> yes. But my argument is that they're fictional names and characters. And yeah, places. Absolutely. So like, they're not can't common. expect people to know. People yeah. are typing them into their iPhones. Yeah, but that's not how this is trained. Mm-hmm. It's not? It's no. Not real time. It's trained on like an existing data set of common words. Uh, really? Yeah. They're like, it's probably up to like 2022 or something. Yeah. And also, other people. So there is a mechanism in the new iOS 17 keyboard that learns based on the way that you type. Right. But uh, it doesn't learn based on the way that other iPhone users so type. So does this mean I'm a fake fan? Of, you just have to start typing what? that. Yeah, you yeah, just have to type it because I'm clearly not typing a <laughs> Yeah, yeah you, gotta, yeah. you gotta type Well, no, that's more. a great point, actually, though, because I feel like. That's Apple's whole problem thus far mm-hmm. is that they don't have that giant data set of Which all of their users. Which is why yes. they're probably going to use Gemini. Mm-hmm. That's the whole argument. They yeah. don't like their whole thing is security and we don't scrape your data and we don't scrape other people's data and give it to other people. And with large language models, they're kind of boned. Yeah, I want to point, I want to <laughs> paint this, I want to paint this as clearly as possible. In order to have a really, and we've I've phrased this many different ways, but in order to have the smartest possible, most useful AI, like think of a think of a real human assistant who's going to help you out. In order for that person to be the most helpful for you, they need to know everything about you, right? If they're going to start scheduling your flights, they need to know. Oh, do you like window seats? Do you like you usually fly out of this airport? Do you like United or Delta? They need to know everything about you, and so if you're Knowing everything about someone, you have a lot of data on them and and minimal privacy. But Apple's whole stance and their whole policy is to keep as little data as possible, none if they can help it, and to know nothing about you and to keep everything private as much as possible. Yeah. Which is great and very noble and super, it's a big reason why a lot of people like the iPhone. But now that means they, by definition, I think, cannot build the most helpful assistant that knows everything Mm -hmm. about you. Yeah. And so how does Apple get around this? Like Apple's Google's out here knowing everything about you and giving you all the information <laughs> yeah. you could possibly Google's want peeking before your you blinds. even know. <laughs> yeah, before you even know you want that, it's like I know you're about to wake up, so I'm going <laughs> to start helping you out with the thing you're going to eat for breakfast like it knows you super well. Yeah. And so they're able to offer all this helpful stuff which people like. Do they partner? That's... Do they compromise on that 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 policy that they have? To let Google in the door to collect or or to at least use the data they already have. Maybe they don't yeah. collect on the iPhone, but to use the Which data they already have. Which is what I think they're going to do. Exactly. Yeah. Google has collected so much data over yeah. time, and I think Apple is just going to be like, we're going to use that. And is that data a one-to-one match of what they need, or do iPhone users maybe use their phones slightly differently than the all the other users they already have? I don't know if that's going to come up. It seems more focused around... Large language models, I would guess. Yeah. And like natural language processing. So they'll probably use it for Siri. Mm -hmm. I don't really see them using it for a lot of other stuff, which is why I'm actually very curious because if this whole WWDC is supposed to be focused around AI, I imagine they're going to like for multiple of their products say we added some sort of AI to this. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But what else besides Siri could they add AI to that would make like a large tangible difference? Reminders. I was going to say, the rumor did say like iOS 18, right? Mm -hmm. Features, so it was plural. So there are potentially many different things in there that it could be added to, I guess like... And when Jaws says absolutely incredible, it assumes that that's going to be like the theme of the... Yeah. Yeah. So there'll probably be plenty of... I'm I'm super interested in both of these happening and there being a connection. Are they going to talk about each other during their conference? Like Apple has to talk about Google. No. (laughs) Really? You think they're just going to I don't think they're going to. Or do you think they just say Gemini? I don't think think they're even going to say. You don't think they're going to say Gemini at all? I would say that's probably part of the deal is that they don't have to mention Google at all. It would be really would be impressive so if they funny. never mentioned Google. I if they to, literally okay, partner with Google. This is going to be a waveform bet. <laughs> okay. No, no. This, well, before we get to it, though, did they yeah. mention Go- when Google became the default search in Safari? Did they talk about that, that at all? That was so long ago. Was it ever that not was, the default search? I think they immediately. I think it, it was, was like pretty immediate. Instant? Yeah. 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 Interesting. And that was like back in 2008. Okay. Yeah. When They're the a very different was company like, now. Almost not worth mentioning. When they, yeah. Apple announced RCS was that in an event or just that they no, were? That was, that was later? A, an impress release. press release. Thing. It was. I don't think it was even a press release. I think it just went out in. Yeah, they seeded it. They, <laughs> they, they seeded a quote yeah. to a journal. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it wasn't even a press release. I I think it would be really interesting. I I know that these companies look like they copy each other's features a lot. So when I'm trying to predict what they're going to do, I'm literally looking at what's just happened with the past couple of Google events and even Samsung, like Circle to Search kind of an interesting feature right something's on my screen i want to just like quickly 
search that thing online and bring useful results. That mm -hmm. could be interesting. Or maybe iMessage, you start planning a trip in a group chat. Maybe this little assistant Clippy bot comes down and starts helping you plan the trip. It doesn't have to be Clippy because it's Apple, not mm -hmm. Microsoft. But, you know, I'm looking at it's other just Craig. parallel feature. Yeah, just Craig's <laughs> head floats down. It looks like you're trying to plan. Yeah, that's that's <laughs> my wish. thought process for trying to figure out what other than Siri Apple could be doing with AI. Yeah. I mean, considering they update pretty much every OS for all of their devices, hopefully we're going to see something coming to like the watch and iPad, iPad. HomePod. Mm -hmm. HomePod. Well, Apple that was going to be remote. my question because remember Google, they announced Gemini with like three different versions. I forget yeah. which one was supposed to be on the phone. Pico or something? Nano. Like that. Nano. Nano. Thank Nano. you. Um, Apple has watches. They have earbuds. Like there's so many other things. Computers. Yeah. What is it going to be? Like, is it just plugged into... I would say Gemini Nano gets put on the Apple Watch. On the on the watch. See, yeah. I was going to say Nano gets put on the phone or something yeah. similar I mean, to it. You yeah, know? Like, probably. But then what goes on the, on the watch? If there's multiple features coming to multiple devices, I just don't see it being a one-to-one -one fix to, like, other things. Yeah. I don't know. I'm well, curious. there's also... Okay, so there, there's the distinction between, like, local AI and cloud-based AI as well. Yeah. The local stuff is the best experience. Usually it's the fastest. Like the live translations, if you just mm -hmm. download the language model or whatever, and you can do live translations on the device. That's usually awesome. Yeah. Which And Apple was pretty, last WWDC, they mentioned a lot of local mm -hmm. learning, like being incorporated to so many different things. So yeah. is this like a, an aspect of they're going to keep the local stuff themselves and I then think so. outsource the kind of... I actually cloud? believe that the rumor, when we talked about this, I think two weeks ago, mm -hmm. maybe this happened, the rumor was specifically that Apple was outsourcing it to Google for the cloud-based AI stuff. I forget if it was that, but it, I remember the article very much feeling like Gemini wasn't taking over all of AI, yeah, that it was features not. and that this is going to be kind of split in I think some it's sense. mostly going to be for the cloud stuff. Okay. Yeah. So... Yeah, could be interesting. And then, of course, Google I.O., uh, which... Can we make the bet first? Oh, yeah, sorry. Do we? Th is it just do we think they mention Google or Gemini? Do we think or that the word Google is said on stage? Or, or Gemini. Google or Gemini, Gemini? Or do we think like... I don't think they say either. You don't think either. Mm. What do you think? Wow, that's a tough one. I think... If we really think they're partnering and, and using, I don't, I don't think they actually will be partnering. So I'm going to go with no. You don't but, think they're? Oh. You think that the rumor is false? I think, uh, yeah, really, really. I think they're going to try to do as much on device as possible, and that's going to be the the hill that they die on. And they're going to want to over time be able to bring more and more things on device, but they might just take a stance against going to the cloud for these slow experiences because serious. I mean, that's serious bad yeah like that's people <laughs> i mean i don't know if they know how bad siri is but yeah i think that that's more likely that they just try to keep everything local and on device so that they don't send your information somewhere and and hopefully that doesn't get breached well so. but but you can incorporate gemini into things where gemini is pulling from all the other sources it's learning from but mm. Go apple doesn't have to put your stuff into it right but yeah, I don't think that Apple will use a local Gemini model. I think they'll only use Gemini for cloud-based AI that they need the cloud for. I think if they do use Gemini, then they've got to say it at least once. I don't think they're going to say it at, at all. Okay, let's assume that they will use Gemini. <laughs> okay. okay. I think that they will say the name. I'm going to say they're not going to say that. I'm going to say they're going to say Google and Gemini. I don't okay. think they're going to say either. I, I'm, I'm saying it as a... I think it'll be funny if they do. And I'm, I'm going to say <laughs> screw it. Let's, let's, I think they're okay, going okay. to. Okay. I like this bet. That's a good bet. Okay. That's a good bet. Okay. Speaking yeah, of Google. Also, we're just going <laughs> to, we're just going to skip Vision OS. <laughs> that's a whole nother thing is like we expect Vision Pro updates probably yeah. at WWDC. Yeah. But we don't know what they will be. I was actually thinking about that last week. It was like, it's kind of exciting that now we get these whole big updates for the Vision Pro as well. Yeah. But that's kind of mm -hmm. cool. Like, because usually they introduce iPhone features that we didn't even think of, and we're like, that makes a lot of sense. That's really dope. Yeah. And is that going to happen for Vision Pro? Or they, they're they probably just going to introduce the things that people have been complaining about. Like, I would assume. Which would be nice. Which would be nice. My guess is at WWDC, we're going to see a lot of, especially this first time around, it's only been out for a few months, it's going to be like a bunch of different programs that helps developers create inside of it 
better where mm. us three won't have any idea what any of that really they'll means. definitely <laughs> highlight like how many how many apps have come out for it since mm. launch and things like that and <laughs> some of the many. highlights and the best apps and oh personas are out of beta now or they're they're version 1.1 1 .1 or something and they're better than last time stuff like that uh, yeah i think it'll be a minor <laughs> vision os thing you think Fair. so i think so i, think I mean minor minor to long. us minor to the consumer yeah i'm sure developers they'll be it'll only have stuff. been out for four months exactly. by the time wwdc mm -hmm. happens so yeah it's fair but, but add that to the list of like 19 os's that they've got to update. yeah exactly <laughs> tv os vision os oh, ios God. mac os etc right Watch but okay it. google i.o google We've seen endless leaks of uh, possible Pixel, what is it, 8a? 8a, mm -hmm. yeah. And we, I think, expect that to finally mm -hmm. be unveiled at least. And then... I still wish they would just <laughs> drop it with the mainline phones. And, and be on the same number. Yeah. Nothing's stopping them. Yeah. <laughs> Nothing is stopping Google's them. Google's stopping. Saying, they <laughs> just make, themselves. Because they make a $350 phone and Google's is $500 now. Yeah, they don't want to, maybe Got they just want to overshadow their more expensive phones. Who would oh. buy a $900 Pixel if the $350 Pixel <sighs> came out the same day? You yeah, know. and we were we were also talking about how the AA is basically the eight. Yeah, so so I guess I have to. Stack it. <laughs> Never mind, I get it. All right, uh, they could. Yeah, do it's it. a it's like a they mid cycle refresh in a way, or like a mid cycle like, hey, yeah. you can buy this slightly cut down one. I guess we're expecting though updates on uh, Gemini on the phone versus Assistant on the phone, because at would this like... very moment in time, it's not clear why people should be moving from one to the other. I do have a th potential theory, and it might be too early for this, okay. but. I assume, we can probably assume that the eventual plan is to either deprecate Assistant or deprecate Gemini and eventually merge them into one. Mm -hmm. Or actually probably what's going to happen is because right now <laughs> Gemini, <laughs> the official naming is like Google Gemini powered by Gemini Ultra 1.5 or something like that. <laughs> and be, I think they're doing that very intentionally so that they can like get recognition for the model so that later they can say a Google Assistant is now powered by Gemini Ultra 2.4 mm -hmm. so it's still the model so I imagine and this is just a theory that maybe at this Google I.O. they'll announce they're working on merging them Mm. So that everything is just Google Assistant again. I thought you were going to say the more Google thing of kill both of them <laughs> and Re make Part a new one. That, yeah. <laughs> it's called Google Messenger. <laughs> it's, uh, it's called Hangouts. <laughs> um, I do think I do hope we see something though that's uh, not this. Make the decision between Assistant on your phone or Gemini. On your yeah, phone. that's abs absurd. It they feels like. they need to mix them. They're eventually, I assume, going to mix them. But I I just would like that to happen sooner rather mm -hmm. than later. Yeah. That's honestly the biggest update I'm expecting. Yeah. And then obviously Android updates as well in general. But uh, yeah, yeah, very different style. Yeah. So similar question before, assuming Gemini is going to the iPhone, does Google talk about Apple? No. Just Google. And how they're going to be oh. powering things oh. on the iPhone. Maybe. As like Which is also point? funny because it's earlier than WWDC. Oh, oh, so yeah, they can't. So they couldn't. They can't. They can't. They would not. You don't think it. so? I don't no. think Apple would. Because it would. Yeah. Because Apple hasn't announced anything AI related. Imagine yet. Sundar on stage, like, by the way, we're gonna power whatever Apple's coming out with in the next month. <laughs> they Trust they me. might say something like, "We've we've established some leading industry partners that you're gonna mm -hmm. are gonna be exciting in the." They'll be cryptic year. about that. I, for yeah, sure. I do think it's harder, but they have announced things before like with samsung before samsung's announced things right at io i know it's like different samsung i know i know i'm just saying Google it's not that wild of an idea interesting yeah. yeah no they'll yeah. be i'm sure they'll announce some some feature stuff that we don't hope, see coming i hope they do i hope they say something about working with apple here's the before bet apple. here's a i would love this bet <laughs> here's another who one. will say ai more on on stage and google. why is it google google because <laughs> yeah. they will say it google's <laughs> taking what they did last year and they're they're amping it up so wait actually here's the bet Will, will Google say AI more or less times than last I.O.? Yeah, what's the over-under? Yeah, what is last I.O.? Does really? Like really 150 high. or something? Oh, let me just find that out real quick, Andrew. Oh, no. I'm waiting. Someone's got to do a supercut. <laughs> Someone's got to get, there is the a super cut. get the supercut machine ready because we got to use that to count how many times they Ask say. It was 137 we, Yeah, I was going to say, we could throw that into the script. I said 150. Say? Dang. Wow, okay. Yeah. yeah, 137. Yeah. Over under 150. Oof. It's going to be hard to say it more. Over. You remember Over? that last presentation, right? They literally were saying it nonstop. <laughs> yeah. It's like every sentence. 
Uh, I'm going under because I think they'll say more different types of buzzwords like models and large language and stuff like that. They're going to say multimodal like eight times as many times mm -hmm. as they did last time. Yeah. They need to flex what's different about Gemini versus the other models. And in, unless GPT-5 comes out, which I, I'm assuming is going to be multimodal, unless that comes out before I.O., they're going to flex the hell out of it. So if what's your over-under? Over, one, over 137? 150. I'm under. Mm. I would say if Google wants to flex, they should pretend to just move on from AI. They should be like, I agree. other companies <laughs> we don't even are think just about now it. getting to AI. We're on to SAI, super advanced AI. Oh, God. <laughs> Here we are. We're super it for smart ourselves. AI. <laughs> smart AI. Yeah. AI type R. Do you think <laughs> if, oh my God. Do you think if Apple at Dub Dub uh, mentions Google, they'll uh, they'll say a gift from Google? Do you think the audience will boo if they mention Google? That'd be so funny. <laughs> we're there, we'll boo. <laughs> Okay, so uh, yeah, I'm going under because I do think that eventually the terminology AI is going to just get tired and people are, it's going to be the same as machine learning, big data, internet of things. It's the same yeah. with all of these buzzwords. Like everyone uses them for a while so that the stock price goes up. And then eventually when it's the industry norm, people just start, stop talking. Yeah, about we're in it. the thick of it now. I feel like we're yeah. in the thick of it. We're in the thick I've... of it, but I also think last year was thicker. Uh, I would argue this year's there's more going on. I think, I think, think it's Apple, more in the public knowledge, at least, than last year. Apple says it's so little that if this is the first year they say AI 100 times on stage, everyone's ships lifted from that if yeah. you're in the AI boat, which is why Google has the chance to like separate themselves again and be like, we, we're beyond AI. We're even better. We're in the galaxy. Speaking of... Things. Speaking of Galaxy. Speaking of Galaxy. I'm, go I'm going over. I okay, think that happened. Oh, I, I agree with both of you. That goes next year. I'm saying Continue under. segue. I'm going to say under. All right. Okay, uh, Ellis. Uh, I'm going to take I'm going to take the over. Really? E yes. I think they're going to start on pace to be over because Sundar is going to open with a monologue about it's AI. Tough. If it's, I run on it, stage and yell AI a bunch of times, <laughs> does that count? Yes. <laughs> it's, if you they make have, it. They will have to use it like more than once a minute every minute of IO. Which they, IO's two I, hours. Exactly, which so is 120 oh, minutes. But they easily, I mean, they did that last year. No, that's what I'm saying. So I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm taking the dude every 20 seconds for two hours. If they hit the, uh, I think there's a chance they go they, back and watch some of the early minutes of last year's IO. It, <laughs> it is far crazy. greater every yeah. two minutes. If, I mean, they, if yeah. they partner with that audio company, I, 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 <laughs> does that, yeah, yeah, does yeah. that count? Do we get three there? I'm almost yeah. expecting some sort of meme about it at some point where they just go AI, 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 like just as like, like a the Whopper joke. song. <laughs> yes. Whopper, Whopper, chicken, Whopper. Yeah, I. I don't know if Google would meme it, but I, I'm I'm going under. Hey, thanks for watching this clip. Make sure you leave a like. Also, ring ding ding da ba ba aramba ba bam ba barumba ding ding. This is crazy frog. <laughs> Bam, bam. <laughs> ba, ba. It's B E M. Bam, bam. Somehow it's bam, 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 bam. Oh, it's different every time though. Then it's ding, ding. Uh, then well, it's no, that goes bam, back bam. to bam, bam, yeah. Then it's uh, <laughs> long for ding, at, the bottom, yeah. at the bottom da, of the Google da. lyrics, it says translate to English. <laughs> <laughs> It's the exact same. It's the same. No, 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 it's not. Da, da, translate to yes, yes. Oh, it's Russian. Yeah, da, da. Crazy Frog is Russian. That's incredible.